Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today we're going to be doing an introduction to Prestige. Prestige is a game mode in Sky Factory 4 that adds an additional challenge to the game and also adds a uh, currency called Prestige Points. Um, it's a lot of fun, uh, but can be a bit more challenging than just the standard playthrough, so I am going to go through and just kind of show how Prestige works. Now, if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. But most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. So as you're creating a world in Sky Factory 4, you have the option to turn prestige mode on. And if you do that, your game is going to start just as normal. Um, you'll start on your one little tree floating in the middle of the air. But what's different is a lot of different abilities and items that can be crafted will be unable to be made by you. They're locked behind a purchase system called Prestige Points. Now, if you press the P key on your keyboard, you will open up the Prestige menu. These are all the different skills and mods that are locked behind Prestige Points. In the upper left, you'll see it says Prestige Point Zero, because you really don't have any to start with. Uh, switching background in the top right just allows you to change the different colored background behind the Prestige models. And then bottom right hand corner allows you to respec your points into different things. So some of the most basic items um, that you would normally start with in Sky Factory 4, you're not able to use at the beginning. For example, the ability to vein mine by holding the tilde key and hitting a specific block and mining all of that type of block does not exist. This means farming trees and different materials um, will be much slower because you don't have that ability. Um, and that ability is the little mining symbol you can see right here can you dig it in the center is hopping bonsais you can make a bonsai to put your um saplings in but a hopping bonsai you can't do unless you purchase a pre with a prestige point as you can see here it says zen garden unlock the hopping bonsai to further automate resource collection and it costs one prestige point so how do you get prestige points well there are a couple of different ways at the very beginning the easiest way is to go into your advancements and by completing an entire page, you will get a prestige point. Up here in the upper right on this first tab, you'll see you win. This will award you one prestige point. So making your way through all of the original advances will give you one point. Now at that point, of course, there are other points that can be pur purchased or received just by going ahead and, and completing different tabs, but that can be a very slow process. The most useful way is with the para box. Now, a para box is an item that you can make, and I've already done a tutorial on how to use it. Um, I will link that down in the description of this video. Um, but the para box is uh, an item that allows you to basically take a point of the game. When you activate the para box for the next 10 minutes, anything you do in the game to the world will be basically erased. Because at the end of that 10 minutes, you will have urged, earned a prestige point, but it will reset you back to the second when you first activated the prestige point. So the most recent 10 minutes will have not occurred within the game. Now the one exception to that is any items in your inventory will come back with you. This allows you to still make items and such during that 10 minute period. And as long as they're in your inventory when you turn the para box off, you will have those items. This is a great way of duplicating items by making a hard to make item, activating the para box, putting in inventory, resetting now there's one in your inventory because it was there at the beginning of the 10 minutes or in your uh, storage and now there's one in your inventory you've doubled the amount of items that you've brought back with you but we're going to look at the um, different prestige abilities so right off the bat the first one you're going to want to get is the zen garden it unlocks the beginning and different prestige um, abilities are locked behind others for example up here we have fertile soil one prestige point will purchase that. There are other mulches and such here, but you cannot purchase those until you've purchased the preceding. So as you can see the little chain or arrow symbol here, it goes to fertile soil, then you can buy brown mulch, yellow mulch, amber mulch, ruby, red, black, and up to blue. Each one of those has a different prestige cost and you cannot purchase it until you've purchased the preceding one in the chain. Uh, another one here is going to be There is No Spoon. That's what unlocks the matter overdrive, letting you become an android. Uh, this one here is a set of three, and this is where it's going to be your different slime dirts, which works just like the mulches, but for the different slimes. Unlocking um, portal guns. Uh, the smeltery is probably the one of the most common one I see questions about. You can make a smeltery 
even before you unlock this, but you do not have the ability to make the smeltery controller block, which means you cannot complete a smeltery until you've unlocked this with two prestige points. You can make a melter, which is slower, but does the same item or same um, process. But to actually unlock and build a full um, smeltery, you will need to unlock this block first to gain access to the controller. Then we have the ability to turn on flux networks. We'll come back to Project E, uh, but we have jetpacks, uh, unlocks the mega torch, age of information, which is open computers, which are things like your ability to um, make different mob farms and things, uh, mistcraft, and there's the parabox 2. So parabox to the 2 power basically is a higher level parabox that um, instead of freezing time for basically 10 minutes, it does a 20 minute cycle. And at the end of that 20 minutes, you get three prestige points instead of one. This is once you can unlock that with 10 prestige points and you have the ability to make the um, empowered pair box. This will speed up your ability to make different, um, or get p points to be able to unlock different abilities. There's also the Twilight Forest is purchasable, uh, mob grinder utilities, uh, on mystical agriculture, which is 50 points, that's a big one, but then after that, to open up Insanium is an different, additional 20. And then, of course, there's the Fast Forward. Now, Fast Forward is a good one to get relatively early, because it says, skip the early game grind by receiving a bag full of items to get you past early game. This will give you a bag right away, and a bag on every new world until sold. So that's important. Every new world. So if you were to create a Sky Factory world, and you were to go through it and earn yourself a point on page one, and then you were to create another world with prestige on, you go into that world, you would have that one point. You could then go through that first page again, earning yourself another point. Those points do go across from world to world. So that's a way that some people like to start off and get points early game. Go ahead, create a world, get your first point, create another world, get your second point, so on and so forth. And then you can go back to any one of those worlds and use those points to basically advance from the game. If you do the fast forward advancement, which is three prestige points, each time you create a new world, you'll get a bag full of saplings and early game things that will help you shoot through that first page very quickly. Now, over here on the left are a bunch of potions. Once you've unlocked your very first uh, Zen Garden prestige ability, that's gonna unlock the gate, which is zero. So that's gonna open up all these ones after it. Now. A lot of people think that this is just a potion, clicking on this for one prestige point to give you ability to make that potion. That is not correct. Buying any of these potion symbol abilities gives you that potion's ability permanently. So if I buy the fire resistance potion, I have the effect of drinking a fire resistance potion all the time, regardless of whether or not I've actually drank the potion. There's another one for night vision. There's another one for permanent regen, two potion effects. So there's a lot of different ones there that are very helpful. Again, early game, um, but are not required. They're just ways of kind of helping you out. Now, last thing to talk about is Project E. Project E is a very big thing I'm going to cover in a separate um, uh, tutorial. But Project E uh, really costs 100 points just to unlock it. And then Project E Adventure, which creates a new world type in the world creation screen, allowing a start with the Project E mod, is 250. So to unlock both of those, you're looking at 350 points. So that's going to be very late game. This is kind of the last thing that you're going to do uh, to complete everything in prestige mode. And it's really large. We will cover it in a separate tutorial. But um, definitely the most important thing is to Try to get your pair box up and running as quickly as possible. It does use a lot of energy uh, or RF power, but once you have it up and running, it will drastically speed up the amount of points that you can farm to unlock these different abilities. All right, so that's going to pretty much do it for this video. Uh, we just want to do a basic overview of how Prestige works. Again, pressing the P key opens up your menu and uh, getting Prestige points are what unlocks other abilities and items in game. Uh, if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, uh, please be sure to throw those down in the comments. I'm always looking for new recommendations or suggestions as well. So if there's a tutorial you'd like to see in Sky Fact before, please add those as well. You can also go to my website, onlydraven.com, um, and you can submit direct... Uh, feedback to me via email at the bottom of the home page as well as get links to all my videos my streaming schedule social media accounts and other useful information you may find beneficial so i do re recommend checking that out uh, but that is going to do us for this video thank you very much for watching have a great day